Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to demonstrate you another plugin for Filament called Impersonate. And this is another case of a wrapper on top of existing other plugin outside of Filament. In this case it's a Laravel package with the same name Impersonate and that wrapper comes from Joseph here. And Impersonate is basically the same wording of a thing called login as another user. And as the credit says, these are two packages that influenced this Filament package. And also disclaimer, be cautious with your using that plugin and general impersonation. So if you log in as a user, you land on their page and area with their data. So probably you should state that somewhere in the privacy policy or terms and conditions and never ever edit the data for the customer. I have personally used it in the past only for debugging purposes. For example, if customer reports some bug and you need to log in with that customer to see to reproduce the situation if you fail to reproduce it yourself. So this is the demonstration. I tried to install that plugin in one of our demo projects for CRM and that CRM has two kinds of users. And in this case, it's a multiple panel project. So there's a panel for admins who see customers and see orders for those customers. In this case, it's a repair salon for phones or something like that. And then in the customers list, after installing that package of impersonation, I added one more action. So after a compose require, which is really simple, then you need to add this in your table, for example. And this is exactly what I did customer resource in the actions, I added this and also specified where to redirect to after impersonation. Basically that plugin kind of fakes the auth ID or adds another auth ID which user you're logged in with for that specific temporary session. And if you don't specify that redirect to, for example, let's do it like this, then it still shows the icon. This is the icon on the right. I will zoom that in. This is how it looks. And when you click impersonate, you land on a session of that user. If you don't specify redirect, it would redirect to the home page. But what I actually needed here is to land on this URL of customer my orders. And then on top, you have a special bar impersonating user. You may choose to leave and get back to your list of customers. This is very convenient for administrator user. For example, let's return the redirect to refresh the page. We click we land in the area of the orders or situation of that customer, you browse around and then whenever you finish the debugging session, you click leave and you're back to your own admin area. Of course, there are multiple things to customize and you should be really cautious with setting up that plugin, who can impersonate other users and who cannot. So you should specify that in can impersonate function in the user model. And there are a few more customization options in that plugin. Now, what do you think would you use it in your projects or maybe you're using that already or you have other options, similar plugins to recommend? Let's discuss in the comments below. And by the way, if you want the source of that customer and order multi-panel project, this is one of our filament examples, premium projects called Repair Salon CRM. So you can watch the demo video and get the full code if you purchase all premium examples or just the full projects examples for a bit cheaper price. And this is one time purchase to get access to all the projects in our filament examples and we will create many more of them in 2024 and beyond. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.